What's up, everybody? Battlefront CJ here. So I was going to do a gaming video today, but I realized, you know what? Let's rant, okay? So um, I made a prediction months back that the Saints and Chiefs were going to win the Super Bowl. Well, guess what? For the third year in a row, it happened again. The Saints have completely crapped themselves in the playoffs. The first year, the Minneapolis Miracle, which, by the way, I mean, it's a one million play, but all that guy does have to, has to make the tackle. The second year, it's a misplay call. That's it. I don't care if they, they blew a lead. The Rams in 2017 were, were, were a good team. It's not like it's not like they're gonna it's not like they're gonna go brain dead, but the Minnesota game is all Drew Brees. I love him. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks. Why the heck do you do that? First of all, you throw an interception, and uh, and another thing that really gets on my nerves. I'm an Eagle fan. I like the Eagles. How do you not call Jadavion uh, J- J- Clowney on a helmet to hit on Wentz? And then the end of the Saints game was clear P.I., but now let's, now let's, oh, it's fine. Oh, it's the end of the game. We're not going to even review it. The NFL does not give a crap about its product. Okay? They allow Kirk Cousins, who is an average quarterback, to beat the Saints. The Saints should be better on defense. They're, they're supposed to have a good defense. Nope. Nope. And Sean Payton says, oh, we want to be chip chip. If you guys were chip chip ready, we would have blown them out. And I saw YouTube comments. Who's going to win on Sunday? Or today? The Saints? First of all, people, I like the Vikings. I like, they, they have a good team. I just don't trust Kirk Cousins, but still, I had a good defensive game plan, but why are you allowing Kirk Cousins to to beat you? Kirk Cousins is not good against teams uh, above 500, yet you have to be like, nah, it's, nah we're just going to... Uh, you know, you're third seed. Now we're third seed. Now we're just going to take them lightly. Once again, the Saints fail. Seriously, though. You're in your other, you're in your own building. Uh, let me, Breeze is like, uh, let me throw a pick to the other team. And I saw that throw. You, you can't do a screen pass. Seriously? You can't get Kamara on the fly. Nah, let's, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to throw it up. Oh, I'm the best quarterback ever. Look, I'm trying to win with my arm. Oh, you know what, Breeze? I love you to death, but stop choking. Same thing in overtime in 2018 against the Rams. He throws the pick. Run the ball. You have Alvin Kamara, one of the best running backs. Now I'm just going to throw it. No, I'm going to throw it. The Eagles game totally is not his... uh, Not If Wentz was playing, the Eagles would have won. That's it. Okay? But for some reason, it's okay for, uh, for, for for, for the officials to think... Oh, wait, let me just hit him on the head. Oh, wait, ow, 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 I got hit in the head. Oh, wait, that's not a penalty. Oh, good. I'm not a salty fan. I know more football because I've been a fan for a long time and I study the game. I watch videos about it every day. You people who... The Saints game is BS anyway, but it's I blame the Saints defense. I do. Because... This is, this is what should have happened, okay? Yes, it was a push-off, offensive push-off. But, I uh, yes, you could hold them to a field goal. And, you know, I don't blame the New Orleans Saints fans. Back-to-back years. 
They have every right to throw stuff on the field. That is, that is a bad performance by these officials. Ref ball is what it's called. Ruins the game. The officials should know the rules and stop taking sides all the time. It's stupid. It's like umpires in baseball. They don't care. They just, they, they think, ah, I'm going to call it. Uh, uh. Stop. F- favoritism is not good. I don't care if you like the Saints. If it's illegal, call it. Okay? Or review it. Every touchdown is reviewed. Oh, nope. Clearly it wasn't. Oh, we play on. And when people... It's... I don't mind stupid calls. But when they happen every game... This is why there are reviews... On flags. Because that idiot had to favor the Rams. Referees should do their job, shut up, and call the right calls. It has nothing to do with your preference. If you don't like the other team... Like, I don't mean to use a baseball analogy. You're like, well, I don't know if it's a baseball analogy, but... You're like Pete Rose, except Pete Rose bet his team to win. These referees are against the Saints. Their game against the Rams in L.A. You had to blow that play dead. Saints would have won that game. It would have been 14, probably 14-2. 14 and two. But, or maybe not. I don't know. I mean, that would have that would have, that would have given them a touchdown. But the product on the field is... Basically, these refs, okay? The good ones don't screw up, but the bad ones, I don't know. I mean, it's like they, it's, it's like they have a script. Hmm, let me see. Oh, uh, uh, no, it doesn't matter. No, he wasn't grabbing it. Nope, it's in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Pass interference. Offense number eighty-two. I put nope. This is why Roger Goodell is a tyrant because he does not care about the lead. He does not care about the product on the field. He's a jerk. He does not care about about anyone. He doesn't. Goodell does not care. Goodell doesn't care. He, he, it, uh, uh, like, like, uh, seriously, uh, 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 uh. oh wait, is it on? No, it's time. Just, it, I'm just speechless. Good, the Patriots lost. But I believe that Carson Wentz should have been... Because my dad said this, and my dad's a diehard Eagle fan. My dad loves the Eagles. You know, uh, he uh, he's the reason I like football so much. Me and him watch games, but he was really frustrated about that. Um, if you look at the hit, maybe I can... Um, maybe... Uh, Maybe I can do something here. I don't know if I, I don't know. Uh, let me, let, let me, I'll be right back. Let me, let me do something. Let me, let me record. Never mind. Uh, you know, the whole uh, Carson uh, Wentz play is BS. Here, let me, let me just change it. So, I'm going to play the audio of it, um, of the clowny hit. So, I'm pretty sure it, it will show it. Okay. So, this is on ESPN.com. Uh, oh, this is, 
is Merrill Reese. All right, Merrill. Carson Wentz has left the medical tent, but he's heading to the locker room. Another part of this is the independent neurologist was in the tent. Clowney hit him in the head. Clowney. That injury. So I don't want to speculate what it is. Like, he was hitting the back of the helmet. Okay. It wasn't a good play. Okay. Clearly a lot of emotions involved in the call. Oh, and this one's even more BS. From an officiating standpoint, what did you see? Well, this won't be the first time that I disagree with Coach Fox, as he well knows, but to me it's a little bit more than just hand finding. That right arm does get extended. It does create separation. There is action and make the catch. To me, it is and was OPI. There is upper body that heads back into the end zone. B, or maybe New York statement might be, potentially had a flag been thrown, we stay with the call. The question becomes, what is the level to create an overturn? See? So, it was a bang bang play, yeah, 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 yeah. See, it says Smith. We didn't rule that to be a flag. Yeah, you know what? I mean, that wasn't bad. But but see, the whole um, the 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 whole Saints thing. I mean, it's all bullcrap. The league does not like the Saints. I think after Bounty Gate, I think I think the league is just like. Karma's not on their side. I also think Balakate's BS. But whatever. You know what? They got caught with it. They're the scapegoat. But you know what? I'm just sick to my stomach. I just felt like I needed to do a rant video because this... This is just not fair. It really isn't fair. I mean, I don't understand how Kirk Cousins, who's a six seed, gets a win like that. First playoff game. I understood. Look, Breeze didn't help out. He shouldn't have thrown an interception. Like I saw the play with, um, where like who he was trying to throw to, like Ted Ginn. Eh, it was it wasn't an accurate throw. Um, I'm gonna look at it really quick. I know you guys can't see, but I'll talk about it. You know, uh, let me see, Drew Breeze. Inter interception. My aunt is talking to me. Like, terrible interception. Like, Like, here, let me, let me go images. So, uh, I mean, that was against the Vikings, but I saw the play. He overthrew, like, like the interception to start the Eagles game, like the, um, like that game, like last year's division around. I'm just thinking to myself. He they, he likes to he, he let people pick him off when he's when he's going deep, uh, and uh, you know he's a good quarterback, but at the same time I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, the league has favorites. It's all bullcrap. Whatever it's called. The, the league needs to stop being um, favorites. Um, so this is the this is a throw. I don't know if it's a video. So this is the play, right? Uh, so this 
this play, if if I be I'll be honest with you about something, the score was ten six. The Vikings got a touchdown to make a thirteen ten. Now this is the the pass interference. That will be a reason. I understand that they were coming back, but ten to six, and Breeze throws a pick. Run the football. Why do they always have to like like seriously though? See, this is that's the reason. Breeze interception gave the Vikings the lead going into halftime, and it could have, and it could end up proving to be the massive. That's the reason they lost. So you know what? Forget what I say about the refs. That was a bad call going against Rudolph. But I'm gonna be honest with you. There would be no overtime. If the Saints made it, if the Saints got a touchdown. But no, uh, let me throw it up. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, like. I would do a slant. I like slant routes, especially in that situation. You get cri- you get quick. Um, uh, you, you get, wait, let me show you. You get like a quick little. Uh, so, that's a. Uh, so that's how you get the route. You just go, just go up, or you just go up. I can't do it, but I like slants. You know, especially in that situation, because it's fun. Slants are good, so whatever. But yeah, I just felt like getting off my chest. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Actually, we'll live stream for a little bit. Play some Backman. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.